thought we were going to release them gradually, one at a time. I'm not the one doing this. One live for King. Hey guys, Legendary Ghidorah here, and this has been on my mind lately, like, and to be honest, I think we shouldn't have mechanized titans. Comment down below, please like and subscribe, and share with your friends. Alright, now let's get into the video. Now as you guys know, this has been this rumor that uh, mechanized titans are going to show up in the monsterverse. So we can potentially see Kiryu, or Mecha Godzilla, or we could possibly see Mecha Kong, or Mecha King Ghidorah. Maybe even Mogira. It is possible since Mogira well, is basically the, the uh, what's it called? The prototype or the pre uh, Mecha Godzilla. But here's why that's a bad idea, okay? Number one, yes, it is rumored that they could appear, but we don't have enough to establish them in the Monsters, okay? Now, Pacific Rim. They already took it. They already took that to like a whole new level. If you guys watch Pacific Rim Uprising, you know, they corrupted, uh, Kai, they fused Kaiju parts with machine parts. That's how mechanized Titans were in the, in the, uh, Pacific Rim universe, right? But with the Monsterverse, I think I'm just a little too used to seeing normal monsters. I think the way they should go is with mutations. They should have Destroyer, maybe even Space Godzilla. <clears throat> Space Godzilla would be a perfect way to go. Sp Space Godzilla would be a perfect way to go. I mean, think about it. A human experimenting with Godzilla's DNA, right? Let's say we get this rogue division of Monarch. They're experimenting with Godzilla's DNA. Then it manifests. It just festers and it just... Bam. Bam. You make um, Space Godzilla. Now, it could look like Godzilla, but with a little more mutated features. And instead of dorsal plates, right, running up his back, we see these dorsal crystals running on his back. And it, when it charges up, they glow like a staticky red. And then he just, you know, he lets out this electric atomic blast. I think that would be a way to go. So, that's my opinion on Mechanized Titans. But what I really wanted to talk about is the Icarus Tiger here. Now, what could this thing possibly do on Skull Island? One, I gotta say, this thing is probably the apex predator of the lower terrain creatures. I think this thing could possibly take down a mother long legs, sorry, a mother long legs if given the chance. The creature is over 14 feet long and is probably twice the size of a tiger. So this thing is probably able to look a human in the eye. It probably towers over a fully grown man. Like you can put the rock next to this thing. And he look like a pebble. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you know we don't know a thing about these creatures. So the scene it was supposed to appear in was. A male and female show up. Um, one of the. One of the soldiers or whatever. Kills one of the male. The male or female. And then the other one attacks and kills that soldier. This was to show that. Okay. We don't know what's on this island, and we don't know how it's going to react. So, let's not shoot first, and we should ask questions first before we start shooting. Be cautious before you shoot things. Now, what could this thing possibly do? Now, as you guys know, tigers in the wild naturally are masters of ambush, right? So, let's take this to a whole new degree. What if the Icarus tiger is able to literally change its skin pattern? Like, like a chameleon. What if it's able to actually do that? And you could be looking this thing right in the face. And then he could just take you down. Like really, he could just... He could just take you down like right then and there. Now in terms of strength, this creature could probably take down an elephant. 
by itself. I think this thing is twice as strong as a tiger. It's twice as strong and definitely twice as fast. Now, the horns on this thing, I'm going to say that the horns mean it's a male. Because as you know, female deer do not have horns. So they probably do share the sexual dimorphism or sexual distinction between a male and female deer. Males have bigger horns and females do not have horns. But they do have the red the red fur on their face. So yeah, you can at least tell that they're a part of the Icarus tiger species. Now this thing on Skull Island probably does hunt the deer, the bison, and the water buffalo that we see in, you know, Skull Island. It probably has competition, probably from the deaf jackals, but I wouldn't worry about that. The deaf jackals weren't even that big. They, they yeah, the deaf jackals can definitely take down a full-grown man, but they weren't like 14 feet long or about the size of a tiger. They are probably about the size about a, probably twice the size of a wild dog. That's why I have to say. They would be like the wild dogs of the terrain they live inward in skull island but i think these are probably the smartest creatures on skull island as you see they keep themselves close to the beach apparently so they don't want any interactions with the skull crawlers or the skirt buffalo <coughs> sorry they probably go inland probably to catch more prey for whatever seasonal period they go through they probably hibernate these Icarus tigers are just extraordinary and beautiful looking creatures. Now, I could do a what if video next time on what if the Icarus tiger was real. And I would go through its prehistoric times and, you know, to modern times. You know, where would it be? Where would it eat? <coughs> Sorry. Where would it live? What it would eat? And how would it be, how would it affect um, human evolution maybe? Um, would it be alive today if we, you know, if it was around? And just what it would be in general. Where it would be in general in terms of the food chain, you know? So, let me know if you guys want that in the comment section. If you guys want a what if the Icarus tiger um, was real, let me know. I'll probably do it anyway because, well, I actually love the look of this creature i love its design whoever made this give them them give them that money okay so comment down below please like and subscribe and share with your friends and i will be having another versus video for you guys soon goodbye Superhuman I'm not superhuman Someone save me from the hate It's just another war Just another family torn I'm from my feet today Just a step